my name is Isidore Stowe, and I teach painting, drawing, and art history, art appreciation. Um, I've been teaching for over 15 years. I've taught um, secondary youth, um, and then I started teaching in post-secondary uh, education for the past 11 years, and nine years of those I've been at EPCC. I love art, and I love getting to see um, people kind of open up into that process to understand how to use materials and ideas and how to get those visually represented. Um, so getting to see people in that process and kind of Having another alternate to express themselves is incredibly meaningful to me and getting to talk about art and valuing art and seeing how much of a symbiotic relationship we have with art in our own lives um, is one of the reasons why I teach. Um, art is just an incredible kind of conduit. It's a place for free thinking. It's so open and it's so connected to everything. So you can't teach science without teaching art. You know, science is all about observation. Art is all about observation. So there's just such a symbiotic relationship with art and everything in our worlds. And if we're ignoring that and we're not honoring that and we're not valuing that, we're losing out on all sorts of innovation and creative thinking and, and connections that we can make with any discipline. I learn as much from my students as I hope they learn from me. Um, I love interacting with my students. I love to hear what's on their minds, what their curiosity is. Um, I love to introduce curiosity to them if they're not curious about something. Um, and usually that just involves just pulling back the curtains and saying, hey, look, here's a bigger picture. Um, what do we think about this? And, um, I would have to say being in the classroom is definitely my introducing something new uh, to students. Um, art is so very important um, and it always has been um, and it's the simple fact that artists offer a different view a different look at the world. Um, imagination is not something that stops at the door of an art classroom. Imagination is involved in all careers, it's involved in all walks of life. That imagination and, and critical thinking um, makes doctors better doctors. Uh, you'll find that most doctors draw. Um, it's a way of communication, uh, communicating visually. Um, you'll find that people from in all uh, careers have some aspect of creativity involved. Joseph Campbell, a famous uh, philosopher and theologist, said, "You know, follow your bliss. Um, follow what, who you are, what makes you happy." Now, a lot of people say, "Well, yeah, that might make you happy, but it's not going to put beans on the table." Um, the thing I've found. Uh, is that most people who are super dedicated and don't mind failing over and over and over and over until they make it um, are people, because they're doing what they love, um, are the ones who are the most successful people in the arts. When we're children, we have this perfect sense of composition you give a blank piece of paper to a five-year-old and say, you know, draw me a house and a family. Um, and they will say, okay, I'm on it. And you know, just give them 15 minutes and they've done it. Um, by the time we get to high school, we're saying, I can't draw. You know, I can't do, I, I couldn't draw a stick figure if I wanted to. And what has happened in that time frame? 
I think some of the, the answers to that is that um, art is not necessarily encouraged like it is math and science um, and history um, and, and a lot of the, the technology. Um, but it's, it's every bit as important because that decision making um, that we learn through creativity and making art um, will serve us for the rest of our lives.